Buy a nine, not dudes, with Neil and Jonas. Money, 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 money! Do, do. Money! Welcome, welcome! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is how we're going to bring it in. This is how we're doing it. This is how we're going to bring it in. Welcome to Papaya 9, not yeah. news. That was unedited. That was raw, that was, uh, uncut, Yeah, that unfiltered. was, uh, yeah, that, I mean, this is what we do here. Mm-hmm. This is how we do it. It comes out yes. from the top. From the top. Astral projecting. From the soul. At, oh, okay. With a capital S. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> With a capital S. And the S stands for... Surprise. Whoa. <laughs> we have some surprise stories for you today Absolutely. on the program. But first of all, thank you for coming. Take your shoes off. I'm Neil. Yeah, I'm Jonas. Jonas. And of course, we, how does this show happen without him? No, we can't do it. It just simply doesn't happen. We have Alan here on the ones and twos. Whoa, whoa. There we go. There it is. There we go. We're ready and to. You know that we've gotten a discount. On the woo woos, it's been nice. We we have, yeah, we, have. we got a bundled discount. We yeah, two year contract. Absolutely, <laughs> sold my house, <laughs> and it was worth. <laughs> I, I sold my firstborn. Really? Yeah, yeah. Anything for the pod, man. Wow, yeah. wow. Your parents didn't even know about it. No, huh? no, they didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> they gave it right to Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor took it right out, right, right out the woo game and right to Alan. <laughs> I, I optioned that baby. I was like, "Whoa, bitch! <laughs> this one's to you, <laughs> buddy. Welcome back, man. Thank you, sir. It's good to be back, man. As it's always, man. Back, you man. know, your trip was good. Trip was good, man. We um got to do some comedy in front Absolutely. of people, man. Absolutely, Fuck it's good to be it. back out there. Man. Uh, it's good to be back dude, out there. It was really. Really great. Yeah. You know, just having a set, putting a set together, having like some some fucking time to focus on and like really like I want to try to figure out how to get the act going again. And Yeah. It was fun, man. But this wasn't your first time. I mean, you, you've, this is like, you've been like the past two, three weeks. You've been. Yeah, we went. Yeah. Last yeah. three weeks have yeah. been, you've been, you've been Nashville, working. Alabama, Texas, yeah. man, Houston, Dallas. Like, yeah crazy man and you came back alive not lynched honestly <laughs> despite all the Looking. locations <laughs> historically yeah for sure uh, i came back just fine you literally went everywhere you weren't invited <laughs> <laughs> they and were they were like real friendly man yeah real real friendly there was yeah man like there was just fans that they really like i, I went with michael blaustein yes very and funny guy dude, killer the homie man like, yeah. like for real and he has fans from tiktok and his podcast and so they I would say he he sold out both the improvs, 300 plus or some shit. And then I would say around 200 would stay after. Jeez. Just to get a picture with this guy. And just to witness this shit, it's just like, what? Because you know know this person in such a different way. Right. Put pants on with this guy today. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Like you're on the road, you're in the same hotel room, like seeing this motherfucker, you know. Uh, do his hair for like 45 minutes. You right. know? <laughs> yeah, were people wearing masks inside the club? No, of course know. not. Yeah. No, no, no. And none of those. There was no like. You, you hear the cities I listed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nashville, Alabama, <laughs> Dallas, and Houston. They, I don't even know if COVID happened. <laughs> I don't even know if it happened there. It was fun though, man. Like it just like the, I forgot like interacting with the crowd. Like when you, cause you told me before we left, like, yeah, because uh, you you have a background in featuring you Tampa Improv you feature for people all in the southeast and shit like that right yeah so, yeah like the feature spot being such a cozy position oh, once you told me that man like that gave me so much relief it was like all right literally nobody's here to see you yes but you have enough time where if you can should we take that <laughs> 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 Uh, but the, you do you have enough time? Is it Lord Michaels? No, it's it. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas, you're in. Listen, I quit this podcast right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I dropped the mic. The camera over. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear you go, hey, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I walk out the house. I'll be like, Neil, you coming with me, baby? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to New York. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so so yeah, you, you, I mean, you, you get just enough time, right? You get yeah. you get enough time where Perfect. there's the feature where if you do, if you can capture people, like people, mm-hmm. people, you know, I say like 200 people stuck around, so at least 10, 15, 20 people be like, hey man, good job. Yeah, yeah nice. that was cool, man. People show love, like they show love, and, yeah. it, and it's also a great spot too because it, you know if you don't do good, you like the most forgettable. 
Absolutely. If you don't do good, you're right. also the most forgettable act. Literally. It's rough for the host because if he does bad, you got to come back out. Right. They yeah. got to keep seeing this motherfucker <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the whole the night. Host got, <laughs> like, the host bombed. Luckily, none of the hosts we did listen, was the, like, bomb, but like, listen, we've I've all been seen there. there. Oh. I've seen that. I've been that. I've like, been yeah, that, dude, man. Like, man, It's rough. Oh, my God. You know, God, but that feature, dude. man, dude, I used to time it, man. I used to, I used to time my feature spot with the comedy club, so I would have them, like, I would time it for them. Cause I was so good with the staff. I would time my meals <laughs> around, <laughs> around when I would come in. I would time my meals <laughs> around when I would come in. So it was it was always like this perfect time. They just knew yeah. they knew what I wanted. You know, saying you get the lobster and the steak. <laughs> Damn, lobster and steak. Lobster and oh, steak? Wow. Absolutely on the house. Wow. On the house, yeah. You you brought your own bib with you? <laughs> yeah. Like, wow. dude, they had it, man. Shoot, shout out to that house that man. They had it perfectly yeah. timed, bro. They just need <laughs> You're eating like a headliner. <laughs> For real, but you're eating like a goddamn king. Yeah. I'm eating the headliner's food. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I see some of the craziest things. Dude, headliners just have some of the craziest things. Like they, like in terms of food, like Marlon Wayans would just have like a whole thing of chicken, just like just <laughs> spinning, like a rotisserie chicken wow. spinning in the green room. I'm like, where did where did where, like where did they get this? Like, Dude, I've never seen like, this in here. The rotisserie chicken and the Venezuelan jazz quartet. <laughs> I need that in my green room. <laughs> a new jazz quartet before every show. <laughs> a new one for the early and late show. <laughs> Eddie oh Griffin, my man. dude, my man, the manager of the Improv, he's complaining because Eddie Griffin, he had like one of the roughest ones. He needed a new pair of Air Forces for every show. From the club? From the club. From the comedy it, club? It was in his rider. Wow. A what? new pair of Air Forces. Wow. Every show. Like, did that, like he just had like, he had like all these comics that were on his shit list because it was just high maintenance. He was like, he was like, he wanted fresh pair of Air Forces every wow. show. So he'd do one show, take them off. Yeah. Waiter comes in, brings the next box. <laughs> <laughs> like, and the next show, like, wow. it's this every show. Oh, my God. Every do you show. think he would, like, sometimes open the box and then send them back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take them back to finish life. <laughs> <laughs> They're not ready. <laughs> It's inspirational, almost, man. It's almost inspirational. Like it's almost inspirational to, to me. To see like, someone be that much of an asshole is an inspiration. Yeah, but also to see, you know, to find a way to get, you know, any way you can get, you know, white people to bend. <laughs> you know, like that's that's like, you know, that's believe. true. I didn't think about it from that angle. Yeah, for sure. That's like well, this is what you got them doing this. Yo, you know, I know the owner of this place. He's racist. <laughs> you got them doing this. Like, bro. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So th- wait, that's interesting. So Eddie Eddie Griffith asking for a pair of Air Force yeah. Ones. It's actually a civil rights <laughs> movement. Yeah. <laughs> he was, yeah. He was reversing pair. the tides <laughs> of systemic racism. No, you see it. Man. All his specials too. Fresh Air Forces. That's wow. like his. That's like Do you his think he keeps them. all of them? I don't know what he does with them. That's a good question. You know, is there like an Eddie Griffith charity like <laughs> for, yeah. for uh, lost air forces? I, I don't. I don't know. They have to go somewhere. <laughs> They're in a bunch of Goodwills around <laughs> the club <laughs> for just thirteen cents a day. Yeah. Here's <laughs> here's the thing. I have a couple pair of air forces. Uh huh. I have a couple pair. Yeah. And, I, and and what I do is like I keep when I'm done. I keep a box in my car. Mm-hmm. If I see a homeless guy, I'll give it to him. Really? Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. they're not his size. Yeah, <laughs> but I look at his feet. Like we, we talk. Like it's like I'm not just going. Like I'm not. I'm not looking for it. Like it gotta feel right. It's a whole thing. You know. Oh, thank you, man. These are too small. No, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> Your foot will fit. <laughs> but yeah, are we still recording? <laughs> We're still recording. <laughs> it's like the Instagram live. <laughs> like my channel, everybody. <laughs> Jonas the Giver, <laughs> dude. Oh my gosh, those those like activist like YouTube guys. That's, you know, they like the go way. out. They're like, I gave a homeless person fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Listen, I got. That's why you were away. I got a social media offer myself. <laughs> okay. Listen, uh, I don't have an Instagram or nothing, right? It's weird. I go into places, and for some reason, I always end up on somebody's Instagram. Yeah. We were talking, and I, I you know what I realized? I haven't touched a basketball. In like twelve years, you haven't touched a basketball. I haven't touched a basketball. Wow! And to actually, I think even longer. I was doing the math, and we were talking. I'm like, wow, I haven't touched a basketball hmm. in like twelve. Realistically, probably fifteen years. Never shot one one time. What? And so he was blown away. And dude, he he wanted to pay me to record me shooting. 
<laughs> a basketball. Wow. What? For the first time. For the first time. For the, for the first time, like in like fifteen years, like he wanted to make it a thing. <laughs> and God, uh, dude. yeah, I mean, are you? <laughs> I think this is a great opportunity. For you, you think so? Are yeah. you worried that the black community will fully reject <laughs> you <laughs> after this video? On top of that, I'm worried about your career. <laughs> 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 we work together. He's like, I got people to think about. Oh, um, man. Yeah, man. It, like, he was dead serious. He's like, you wanted to pay, like, set up a whole thing. Like, wow. first time. Cool. 15 years, see how it goes. And I told him, I'm like, hey, man, you think I should, like, warm up, like, practice? He was like, no, why would you? <laughs> he was like, no. Right. Yeah. So he was like, you just sit back and eat chicken wings. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I don't, I, I don't know if, I, if that's something I want to steal for myself, though. Well, if he was offering to pay you. Mm-hmm. And you should let him pay you to do it. Right. But now now I feel like this is something that could be something and I might need an Instagram now. Oh man. I mean we've been I've been on you trying to get an Instagram. I gave up, honestly. <laughs> I gave up months ago. Neil had like first was like Jonas, you should start an Instagram, so we can share Alan has an Instagram, you know, you can like the thing, you know, kinda of boost it. Yeah, it's only one like but like, yeah. <laughs> Jonas is like, yeah, yeah, you know. I got, I got to make sure I find the right picture. <laughs> that lasted about three months. <laughs> I've never seen a good picture of myself. I've never seen a good picture of myself. There I've is ne- an amazing picture of you <laughs> taken by your lab where you work that I looks can, staged. Really? I can, I, I'm going to put that on my comedy Instagram? <laughs> really? That's what they, that's what they want to see. The cleanest comedy. <laughs> You with the fucking syringe, rubber gloves, dude. I love that photo. That's gotta be your photo. Oh my god, the science of comedy. (laughs) The mad scientist comedy. There's somebody at NBC right now. Like, I think we could do something. (laughs) No, dude. No, man. I, I just, I never seen. You know, and again, that's this is what I'm talking about. I just be doing me, and companies just be putting me on Instagram. What? Yeah, I'm telling you, dude. A cryo, a, a cryo place in Pasadena. This place is verified. All the this sperm f- donation places? No, cryo? the cryogenic therapy place, like where you freeze your body. Isn't cryogenic sperm? I mean, they freeze sperm too, but okay. not at this place. This is like a cryo. So cryotherapy is like you go in a place like negative 180. Mm-hmm. You know, you do that for about, you know, three, four, three, four minutes. Okay. I've been doing it for a hot minute. Ago. I do, I go negative like neg- 180. Yeah. I go like negative 200 though. Dude. I've been doing this for a hot minute. That's just nothing, man. I'm from Iowa. That's negative 200. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's the summer. <laughs> I got shorts and flip flops. Huh? Dude, Dude, yeah, so. That's so how long you been doing that for? Eight years. Eight years? Eight years. Yeah. So uh, yeah. you do it for the for the what it does to your body? Yeah, it's like really good effects. You know, muscle recovery. Um, you know, deep freezing muscle recovery. Um, you know, faster metabolism. You're more awake. Like. Like really regenerate very well. This is how athletes like recover very quickly from like workouts. Mm. So it's like LeBron has one in his house, you know, and it's like, um, yeah, this place is dope, man. It's it's this place is actually in Monrovia. It's black owned. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya okay. goes there. Whoa, you know, I mean, it, I'm really proud of this guy. He really built, built this business, Incredible. and he he legitimately has the best uh, cryo chamber in all of LA. I think. Wow, dude, we should go, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. You yeah. want to take a? We got to do that, and we got to go to the the Caribbean restaurant. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing though. If you guys come, you you have to do it though. You can't like come and just like. Oh, I'll do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna go there and just watch. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but <laughs> those are my guys. <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> those guys are chill. Yeah, but I, I just want you guys to. Know. <laughs> I, I just want you guys to know, like when he opens that 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 freezer, there's that moment where that like negative air touches your skin. Yeah, and it's like, bro, I was. I was born in the, <laughs> I was born in an igloo. Well, you got facial hair that'll keep you insulated, but uh, no, I I think I'm a little. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little about worried about the cryo shrinking my my dick. I'm a little worried about I it. Think so? Yeah, the cold is. You it's know, got to. My sperm needs heat. That's yeah, how it gets yeah. moving for me. I need to be hot. Yeah. <laughs> Put me in a sauna. I mean, how much sperm do you need really? Like I feel like we're always wow. worried about sperm count, but wow. it's like, do we need it? Like in a sense, like be honest, do we need it? I need it in the billions. <laughs> <laughs> you try to have triplets, like yeah, dog. I need to make Olympic athletes. <laughs> do you only make one kid at a time? I mean, we need, we need all this, like you know. I guess it's just biological. Yeah, there's some weird primal thing where you're like, need as much sperm. Yeah. 
I gotta spread my sperm because technically <laughs> that's all we can do as men mm-hmm. is just spread our sperm. Yeah, that's kind of it. But well, you want a bunch, so they're fighting with each other, you know. So the, the best top, one for the succeed. best one wins. Yeah, right. Know? But if they're all fucking in mittens and stuff. <laughs> Because <laughs> of the cryo, you're not gonna have exactly. no. Well, the strong well, kids. The, the the thing about it is like you know your sperm count. It is somewhat important because it's a reflection of your testosterone. Mm-hmm. You know, so right. it's like for sure. Right. That that is you know it's crazy. We talk about sperm on here all. The time. <laughs> <laughs> Always goes back. We're talking. Okay, we'll talk about the cryo. Yeah. The cryo. The sperm. Whatever. Yeah. So you go in. It's like negative one eighty. You do that for a couple minutes. It's mm-hmm. really a mental thing. But your body recovers. Okay. So what your body will do is like it'll take all the blood on your surface, your skin, mm-hmm. and it'll like bring it in internally, and then the recovering is when you actually get out of the chamber as the blood resurfaces back to your skin. Wow. So it's like your metabolism, metabolism is like moving. You have faster like muscle recovery. There, wow. you know, it's like it's re- it's really good stuff. Like, okay, it's really really good so stuff. Do you recommend it for recovering from sitting in front of a computer for eight hours? Absolutely. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh shit! That has a toll. That has that. a toll on your back and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Wow. But even if you're active or like just whatever, but yeah, I mean that's how athletes work out like three four times a day. It's like they do that, mm-hmm. hop in there, and they hop out like brand. Like, you feel like you have a brand new body. Wow. Hop out, hop into a sauna right away. <laughs> <laughs> have that shit thaw like a lunchable. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm telling you, man. Yeah. So I mean, your dick will be fine. All right, let's do it. Monrovia. Yeah. Monrovia. Let's support and support the business. Yeah, really, really great. For real. I mean, Alan, look, you already look like you about to bail when you get there. You got <laughs> you to you you commit now, Alan. Yeah, yeah. I'll go. All right. You down? Yeah, I'm down. Down. Y'all don't be coming in like fucking up my vibes. You know what I'm <laughs> your like, vibes, your I'll be in the zone when I'm there. Yeah, yeah. You, understand? you got a reputation at this place? Absolutely. Oh, my God. They really? only know me as like, you know, so. Okay. Yeah. We'll have to come correct that. Now. <laughs> yeah, but Aurora, it's, it's called Aurora yeah. uh, Wellness. Aurora? Uh, yeah, Aurora Cryo Wellness. Yeah. They know you as Low Temp Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, Ice Cold. <laughs> 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 I walk in with a cane. <laughs> Ooh. You got a fucking monocle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hat with a feather on. Who's getting chilly today? Just <laughs> 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 fucking. <it. laughs> Let me tell you about the legend. <laughs> Let me tell you about the legend. Jonas Icebox. Prison <laughs> Duke. <laughs> the Iceman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's one really old guys like you know the ice man will come in here <laughs> just cold as fuck <laughs> i seen him sit in a negative 300 day <laughs> for four hours once he ain't smile or nothing <laughs> 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 oh man ice box <laughs> uh, that's funny as hell man this guy man. drinks ice cubes <laughs> Mm. <laughs> this guy's so cold. <laughs> he lives in a refrigerator. <laughs> Ooh. Ice tea owe him money. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should we should do a story, huh? We really should. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Yeah, it. let's do. Okay, let's Speaking of uh frozen <laughs> a man was found trapped inside of a paper mache stegosaurus in Spain. Mm-hmm. He wasn't frozen though. He was He was not frozen. <laughs> he was He was paper mache. Yeah, absolutely. Which look, horrible the man died, <laughs> but like possibly the easiest uh craft to get out of. <laughs> <laughs> fucking wet paper. I guess it's hardened by then. And- well, my thing was I didn't know if, you know, if this was intentional. Was this a suicide? Whoa. Okay. I need to this consider a way that. To go out? Wow. Was Suicide he on drugs? By Stegosaurus. I mean, drugs makes the most sense. Yeah. Right? Because that's, oh, I'm going to go inside the paper. But see, do you get into it before it's completed? Because you would have to crash through it in order to get in. Well, that, that's my thing. So they they brought the thing up, and apparently, um, first of all, this thing is paper mache. I'm surprised how he didn't. They found him through a crack in the leg. Yeah. It was breaking down. I see. They found him in the crack of the leg, and someone caught. But apparently, he was dead already. Right. And there's a theory that he was looking for a cell phone. In the Stegosaurus. In the Stegosaurus. Just doesn't make any sense to me. Well, <laughs> how did he get in if right. it was completed? There's a whole story. Yeah. There's there's a whole story. Right. Yeah. Because if it's completed, then right. that means you crash through it. 
Unless right. he went through the mouth or something. I mean, we got a picture of it. Yeah, we do. This is this is one of those plots where like you know like it starts with the ending and then the movie starts Dude, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah right right it's like uh, yeah. 127 hours yeah, yeah. with James like, how, how did I first end of up all here? there's a there's a pink penis spray painted on the side. <laughs> <laughs> No respect, though. <laughs> Just no respect for the Spain Spanish museum community. You think, uh, <laughs> do you think they... Uh, <laughs> they just left that shit on there. Just yeah. no pride in their museum yeah. at all. I think they sprayed it all while he was asking for help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> 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 oh my god man so that's the question though that is the question yeah how, how did he get in right because the mouth doesn't look big enough like that you would have you would get stuck in the neck well <laughs> for, well you know we have to remember here europeans are very small people <laughs> they're very very they small are they're people. the smallest doll in the russian dolls yes <laughs> it's just the spanish man europeans are small so them like asians they can fit in pretty much anything wait wait, wait hang on you said them Europeans are small, and then you said those Asians. <laughs> I said them like the Asians. Oh, Asians are small too. Yes, like mm. you, you know, you they can fit in anything pretty easily. Well, oh, the yeah. leg looks closer to the butt of the dinosaur. Really? Oh, interesting. So it's the back leg. Yeah. So he went up the butt. I think he went up the butt. But they don't have a butt; they have tails. <laughs> but they still have, they still have butt holes. I mean, yeah, right? they have butt holes okay, for bad, sure. <laughs> Well, hang on, I mean, we're not fucking geologists or whatever. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a comedy podcast, we, uh, we, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I, well, <laughs> he could have been. Look, the thing was that he was already in there decomposing anyway, and then the firefighters showed up, mm-hmm. and they were like, "Yo, which way are we gonna cut cut in get this guy?" They yeah. decided to go in through the leg. Oh my god! Oh, okay, right. So it's like they never had, a dull day as a firefighter never, in Spain, huh? Never. Wow. They treated this <laughs> like they treated a dinosaur like it was a diabetic. Did they put a just lob one of the foots off? Yeah. <laughs> Is your fault for eating so many cookies? <laughs> <laughs> Take a sore. Stegosaurus are like the diabetes right. of the of the dinosaur kingdom. Forever, I just like your mom told you if you kept eating like this, what was it's <laughs> <laughs> gonna happen? Yeah, beating those Toblerones, yes. <laughs> catch up to you, <laughs> bro. I saw this is a little tangent, real quick. Yeah, I saw this movie Monsters Ball with Halle Berry and Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, and P Diddy and Tyler uh, and uh, Most Deaf, crazy cast. It was a very dark movie, but Halle Berry's a mom who has a tubby little son, <laughs> and he like is hiding and eating chocolate bars and shit. And there's one scene where she just like is beating the shit out of him. It's like you fat. Tubby. That sounds about right for her. Right. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. And then it's crazy how this kid dies, right? Because they're leaving her job at the diner. Uh-huh. She has an umbrella. It's pouring rain, right? Yeah. To set up Billy Bob Thornton to pick her up later, you know? Yeah. Because white savior shit. So anyway. She, they are enwrapped with each other because it's raining. Right. The kid gets hit by a car. Mm-hmm. We don't see it, but you hear the kid get hit by cars. It's like she must have <laughs> low key pushed this kid. Think about it. I haven't seen the movie. Oh man, because if you're like wrapped up tight, right? If you, if one of you gets hit by a car, both of you get hit by the car. Right. Yeah. So how did this kid? get far away enough from her from him to get hit by a car and your theory is that she pushed him out there pushed him because it was too tabby yeah or he saw a snickers bar <laughs> <laughs> apparently she pushed him too hard yeah i mean the, 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 so i okay what's the philosophy i mean why kill the kid i understand the beatings for sure he needs to lose the weight <laughs> but i don't know what i don't understand is the murder is the murder i mean yeah, I go that far. yeah right, so right, right. <laughs> You know, she's I got mean, cones inside of the house, like <laughs> trying to do drills and shit. <laughs> Makes him do lunges to the dinner table. <laughs> oh my god, man, dude, that's that's wild. Yeah. So, so is in the I movie for a fact she kills him? So, so it starts with her husband P Diddy. Damn. The movie starts with her husband P Diddy getting electrocuted in an electric chair for a crime that he committed. He killed a cop. Right, so she already has this kind so, of resentment so, for the kid, and then the dad dies. Maybe her life was just so bad; she just saw him as another burden. So Diddy is out the picture up top. Yeah, Diddy—they give him like a good 
10 minutes up top. Okay. That was the only reason I even wanted to see I it. know. I, I wanted Oh, to. yeah. Spoiler. Diddy's out it, up top. Wow. Mm-hmm. 10 minutes with mm-hmm. Diddy. I mean that's that's about as good honestly, as his acting is long that's for. Honestly, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, that's it, it had he been a main character throughout, yeah. I don't know if I could have followed the emotional <laughs> arc. <laughs> Cause he was a man dying, you know, he's just like, Yeah, this shit is I'm gonna die. You know, take it was that, real take just that. like But yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Was, I mean overall it's a good movie though. It was good. It was okay. dark. But it was good. Sounds like a comedy with that cast. <laughs> <laughs> There's a scene where Billy Bob Thornton and Halle Berry have sex with each other. And it is not good on the eyes <laughs> to see that. It's a tough watch. Really? For both of them. Really? It's just bad. Like it's just I just did I was seeing it and it's like, oh movie sex. Remember how like exciting like nineties movie sex was? Yeah. It was just not there's so much porn now that I could just be like yeah I don't want to see that yeah you know what I mean like just get it away where's like Wait, when did this movie come out 2003 or 4 or something real early see that's the thing there was a lot of porn Lots. back then too I was there <laughs> yeah. so I <laughs> I was on those sets <laughs> supervisor <laughs> supervisor <laughs> so so <laughs> uh, guys the loop budget <laughs> Crunching the numbers. Well, yeah. <laughs> Just uh, guys, uh, you guys finish on set. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the cryo. <laughs> <laughs> the scene can only have three more pumps before we're over budget. <laughs> they're, they're lifting the mask mandate. Our first, second story. <laughs> Good job, John. Hard segue. I like it. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Fuck the mask. No. <laughs> You're lifting it, man. June fifteenth. Mm-hmm. Have we? We haven't even reached herd immunity yet. Is that right? No. Well, People send are- it, bro. <laughs> That's it. It's uh, over. <laughs> if you have the vaccine, it's they more or less said it's over. Right. Now keep wearing your mask where you see it's fit. Right. <laughs> I like how like I feel like America's approach is like we're not even waiting for us to get to the finishing line. No. Like we're just we're just we're just <laughs> we're just cutting the tape. We're just cutting the tape. <laughs> And it's just like we're done. You can start walking now. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. it's like the relay race where like the fourth guy's the fastest guy, <laughs> and the third guy's already winning. Like, yes. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. We got like in that. the bag. Like, they they're ready to go. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if we talked about this. Are you guys gonna wear your mask still after the fifteenth? Uh, I no. think I don't know. I'd feel pressure if everyone else was doing it. Yeah. But if they're not, then mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm gonna do it. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna wear a mask. You gonna keep stick wow. doing it? Yeah. If there's some women around, though, I'm gonna take that thing off. Oh, oh you're gonna do like a reveal? Oh, absolutely. Like you did. Some little smooth. Oh. You know, I've kind of been practicing here and there already. Yeah. But yeah. Some little smooth. You know. Okay. Yeah. You, you got, got your lips just all fucking purple chapstick. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be moisturized to perfection. <laughs> um, it's just a Korean beauty commercial <laughs> <laughs> with Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> Koreans, listen, they want this skin, baby. They, <laughs> they, do. they want it they so do. bad. They do. They man. want it. But yeah, I mean, I think I think I will wear it where I need to wear it. Right. Well, the, Airplanes the, the, and shit. The, so what's happening is they're lifting the state mandates, but they're just leaving it up to the businesses now. Now it's just like the businesses are going to decide. Which is what it's always been. It hasn't. It hasn't yeah. always been that way. Yeah, I mean, there was no federal implement. In, implementation of like mask mandates it was all local governments deciding states yes on a state deciding. level yeah yeah dude did i tell you like at the time I, I lived in burbank when like they first shut down the quarantine no dude so my gym in burbank they didn't want to they didn't want to close hmm. but they shut down the gym wow so dude the police came in like three days after the mandate <laughs> was dude i was working out and the police <laughs> came in and told them to shut it down what? And like fuck, um, like fucking cops came in, like flooded the whole like gym, like like I was doing reps, and I was like, hey officer, can I just can I can I just finish without? He's like, no, go get your. Cl-. <laughs> He's wow. like, no, go. I was like, all right, well, I'll, I'll I'll put the weights down. He's like, just leave it on the floor, and just told everyone to leave. Oh my god, dude, they didn't want to, they didn't want to close. Yeah. Oh my. Did god. you tell him you didn't get the <laughs> full pump? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And he probably understood too. Like right. he probably, he, you know, he was probably sympathetic. Right. Yeah. So you know, it's like I, I know what it's like to not finish your set. <laughs> I know what it's like, bro, to have that last rep. Right, man. You know, dude, but you, 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 you want to blast one out of the chamber, dude? I 
you know. No man, no shower, no nothing. Dude, wow. I was gonna say, did he, he? He was like, yeah, put the weights down. And, yeah, go take a shower. <laughs> he follows you to the shower. <laughs> just a cop standing there, just drenched in water. <laughs> With me. Yeah. So <laughs> here, you need some soap. So I, I mean, you know, it's it's gonna be interesting. Things opening back up again, full swing. Yeah, man. So. Um, I, I, I yeah it, I think well here's the thing when Biden got in office he said July fourth it's gonna be a fucking party right right he's like by July fourth we're gonna be all the way open back up they are gonna stick to that agenda that's that's their I mean they're beating you know, it right they're beating it at they're this point it. so you know there's like eight states that have enough vaccines and shit right but. I don't know, man. I, I say key, you just stick to what keeps you comfortable. The key yeah. to all of it, apparently, is people just got to get vaxxed, man. That's the key. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's are true. You, are you going to feel comfortable hanging around people who aren't vaxxed? That's a great question. I think I will think of them in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I don't want to. I, I'll try to yes. be nice, and probably in this situation, I wouldn't say anything, but like, I'd be like, why not? <laughs> you know. Yeah. But maybe, maybe they don't have access. To, well, everyone know. in California now... Right, you can. It's not pretty, everyone, man. Really, I know some members of the Untouchables. <laughs> <laughs> some members. Of the we do have some amongst us, and uh, the, uh, are you talking about me? <laughs> no, I <laughs> know. <laughs> no, everyone here. Everyone here is vaxxed. Yeah, we are all vaxxed up. Wait, no, the you're talking about the um. There, there are some notable figures. Yes, that have. Not so much said that the vaccine is bad, but maybe has taken inaction against the vaccine. Right. Or and remember, everybody, inaction is a form of action. Alan, write that down. That's I, I came up with Alan, that. you write that down? Yeah, that down I, came right up, I came up well, with that. For every time you have an action, there's a reaction. Let's go with yours. Yeah. <laughs> that mine was bad. Yeah, I think I heard that somewhere, too. You're going to get a suit. <laughs> but for sure. Like, yeah, yeah, that's like, like an yeah. Adidas shoe commercial. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got we got the woos, we got the money. Like we can't <laughs> afford no more. <laughs> we got the lube budget to the cryo. Yeah, yeah, this dude. show's getting expensive. Yeah, man, we got we at our limit. We're yeah. at our limit here in we terms of. It. Did you hear those dating sites are gonna have a uh, a little badge that says if you're vaccinated or not? Mm. I heard about that. Okay, I heard about it. that's a great idea. Yeah, and everyone who doesn't have. Like you could you could send them to like one of the STD dating apps. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <call> back. <laughs> you, yeah, you could send them. Holy shit! That, that was that was a way back. Yeah, that was <laughs> as far back as yeah. I was like plugging into the matrix. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, uh, dude. You send just it's like you check no and it just links you to the next. <laughs> yeah, but it, <laughs> it, 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 it is going to be a factor though. I mean, if you don't have that star. Yeah. Oh wow. And here we are using stars to distinguish <laughs> groups of people from each other. Right. You know, I mean, I don't know. Is, 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 so, so is it going to be like that's is it going to be like the, the dating apps version of being verified? Almost. Yeah. Mm. Kind of like that. There is there is a bit of like the even with the type of vaccine that you get, there's like a different social perception Absolutely. of you. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, did, did you, either you get the Pfizer? Oh, oh no. I, I, I do well. You Pfizer? I got the Pfizer. You got the Pfizer, right? Oh. Some the Pfizer people they seem like kind of like the the hard like the punk people, right? You know, like they're on the edge of like Lincoln Park right. in two thousand four, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? And they don't know it's nothing to be proud of. They don't know. <laughs> it's nothing. You they're should, gonna look back on the era and think, "What right. did we do?" And really, you should keep that to yourself. Yeah, Boulevard of Broken Dreams <laughs> uh, right. is how I grew up. Right. But you know, and then you have yeah, the Modernas. The Modernas. Sensible. You know, a little bit of the. I could love it. It's a little bit. A little of, up there. Yeah, it's you a know. Up there. Put a little gray poupon occasionally. Absolutely. Yeah. Instead of mustard. And we love the yellow mustard. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? You know, you, you bring out the good, the yeah. good wine. You know, you got the uh, the babes. Yes. The babes. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, you, you know. got a nice, little, nice of the. Uh, the French toast. Yeah, you know yeah. Saying? You know, you know. Order some French toast for the table. Right. You know, maybe a little caviar. <laughs> little, little caviar. You have your own personal caviar. Yeah, with the wooden spoon. <laughs> with the wooden spoon. Oh my God, you sniffing that shit? Yeah, it's not ready yet. Right, <laughs> right. Eddie Griffith's got his own caviar. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, some people, you know, you're, you know, it's, 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 not, it's good beef. And you got the Moderna. That's the Wagyu beef. The Wagyu. Wow. You understand? Moderna's that Kobe beef. That Kobe. Oh man. Straight from Japan. Straight, dude. Oh, and now and then you have the Johnson and Johnson, 
which you know yeah, if they're kind of like the the person in the group project that uh, yeah, they're trying, like had to do the bibliography and then <laughs> <laughs> still fucked it up somehow. Right, <laughs> they're actually the person in the project. I wouldn't want them doing anything. I would, yeah. I, I, I'd be like, you, I'll I'll do everything. <laughs> like they did. It felt like late homework. They were turning in right. the Johnson and right. Johnson. Showing up. Like, uh, Mar- uh, yeah. Here. If you got if you got Johnson and Johnson, you you were unprepared. You just chose <laughs> you chose to get it too late. No, I mean it's it's the best pitch. It's the mm. best pitch. One right. and done. Yeah, one and done. One and done. Right. Right? <laughs> yeah, there's something funny about it. I don't know what it is. I mean, one and done. That's it. You end But yeah. do do you really feel like you're done though after the you know? Right. What I'm it's nice to have that second little booster. It feels Thank like a little you. immunity booster, a little insurance. Thank you. You're the only person I knew who felt better after they got like you said you felt like more powerful <laughs> after the first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was stronger. like, I felt like I had an edge that I hadn't experienced before. You sounded alive on the phone too. I did. Yeah, 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 yeah I was lit shot. up. I was lit. Like, dude, you just got the shot, man. Dude, grief, man. dude, I feel amazing, man. Neil, you good? He's in Iowa. I don't know what he's taking out there. I was like, I was like, no, you good? You good? <laughs> Jonas, I want to invest in Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> a little Billy's playing the game now, Jonas. <laughs> Billy's pulling the strings. <laughs> Dude, man. You're the only person I knew who, like, you know, I was like, grief, grief. But you know, I, th- that's the thing. I mean, you know, LeBron has also been, like, kind of oh. on the fence about it. But what if he takes the second shot and boom, like, you know, his knee is amazing again? Well... You know that fixes that, it. That's true. If it, it fixes it, but right. you know, he's done so well without it. His argument is that he doesn't put anything into his body. That's like, whatever. And he's a religious dude. Mm-hmm. You know, the religious community isn't really taking vaccines right. as much. Um, maybe there's something in that. There's also like the narrative of of black people not trusting vaccines. That too. I mean, by now it's a lot of black people who got it. I just don't know For why sure. LeBron wouldn't. I think you you probably heard it affects your hair even more. He's like, I'm already. <laughs> LeBron, you need to go bald. I don't <laughs> yeah. know what he's. No, I, he's he's committed to it a little bit more this past so, year. Actually, it's looked better too. It looks better. It looks, it looks better. Yeah. It was looking weird for a little bit. I was like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, dude, if the vaccine is like, uh, yeah, you 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 can't switch teams again if you get the vaccine. <laughs> Yeah. That's what that, I think that's how they should get him. They should put a little Rogaine in the vaccine. <laughs> gotcha. I'm sure he'd be <laughs> Right, right. He'd then be, he'd yeah, he'd be front of the line. Right. As a matter of fact, I'll take a third shot myself. <laughs> <laughs> Give one to my son. Too. Yeah, yeah, please. Oh, like jeez. Wow. Yeah, dude. Um who else? Who else we got? We got We got Deepak Chopra. Deepak. Life guru. Anti common sense <laughs> man. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. He's he's another one. It's kind of this. There's a lot of Eastern uh, Indians that are saying not to take the vaccine. To, in the you know, the, there's a more holistic way to keep yourself against this virus. You know, protected, but I it just hasn't worked. I don't think so. I mean, you look yeah, at yeah. No, man. I mean, look. You guys, you got guys like Deepak, right? Don't mm-hmm. want to take the facts, but I you know I I don't. I feel like they know something we don't. You know, or like they have another thing because they have the resources. They might be so rich that like COVID probably never affected them. Right. They're just in a different realm. Like, does Deepak live in India? I think he goes all over. I okay. think he's tra- so he's traveling a lot. Okay, I know he's not there right now. <laughs> <laughs> Deepak, Do not take the vaccine. He's in fucking Iceland. <laughs> Deepak is an Egyptian silk cotton on his bed, just looking like <laughs> that. Shit looks horrible. <laughs> Dude, that Deepak is not there. Deepak is not. Um, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think you know Bikram. Bikram, he's anti-vaccine. You know, I, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm pretty confident he would be. Here's the thing: there's something about those. There, there is like a higher innate immunity, and I think there's like a pride in that. Like we right. survive, right? Dengue, fever, right. and type, which is dope. Like that's crazy, dude. My dad was telling me he had he had dengue, he had typhoid, oh, he had cholera, he had uh, like two types of flus that were supposed to kill him. Like when he was a kid. Grief. Were they testing on him? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's a superhero. Uh, right. Yeah, like, that's why he wow. is. Uh, uh, yeah. 
creep. Yeah, uh, dude. Uh, but we do yes, have to he, explain to the listeners who Bikram is. Now, for those of you who don't know who Bikram is, he is one of the greatest men. He is Jonas's lo- biggest inspiration. Uh, absolutely. In life. He was a yoga instructor. Came to this country. Is. Is, still is. Came to this country mm-hmm. with nothing. And um, just absolutely manipulated the shit out of white people. That's right. And it's very, very, very... Uh, very impressive. Very impressive. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> he, right now, he's currently in hiding. You can only get his <laughs> tickets yeah. if uh, you know somebody. In I, Europe, I think. Is it, yes, you he's go. in Europe. Yeah. And so, I do have some exclusive tickets. Oh, uh, oh my God. Neil said you were going. I guess I'm going. Yeah, you yeah. said you were going, and so, I mean, it's a really great yoga. Pl- I mean, you know, he t- he t- he gets a suite, mm-hmm. rents the whole thing for a month. It's just us. Wow. I he also asked for Air Force Ones, before, <laughs> a new box of Air Force Ones before every session. <laughs> Wait a minute, Europe. You don't think he's the guy in the dinosaur, do you? <laughs> oh, no. oh. No, no. how else could he get in there except bending a lot? <laughs> You gotta be flexible. Probably one of his students. Okay. One of his students. Just going through the anus. Fucking. <laughs> 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 Controlling his breathing. <laughs> Go further up the anus. <laughs> Raise yourself into the anus. <laughs> For five easy payments of thirty nine ninety five. You <laughs> go into the anus. Dude, we should do cryo yoga. <laughs> That'll be the next one. That move. sounds horrible. <laughs> High that yoga, sounds... cold yoga, bro. <laughs> wow. Let's do cold yoga. You, you are asking for a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> you are you going to put yourself in a cardiac arrest. Oh, man. Speaking of cardiac arrest. Mm-hmm. Healthy food? Candies. Oh. Do you yes. want to do candies? Yeah. Let's, let's or do, do you want to do healthy foods? What's healthy foods? I love you. I love you too, man. <laughs> No, I love you. Jaden Smith's. Oh, hey, man. I love you, too, though. Yes, they love you, too, though. I, yeah, got, no. so, I got so sincere and honest. No, you didn't. No, man. No, man. I, I love you, too, man. Yeah, I should tell, probably tell you that more often. Hey, man. <laughs> we, should, we should all tell each other that more we often. We should. You know? We should. Jaden Smith wants us to tell everyone that he loves us. <laughs> <laughs> Jaden Smith, our Messiah. <laughs> our our, our reigning new- king. <laughs> 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 Our new Lord Jaden Smith has bestowed upon us. We want to talk about the Fresh Prince. He's truly the Fresh King. Absolutely. He's started a food truck mm-hmm. for the homeless, yep. uh, in which the homeless can eat at the food truck for free. Yeah. And if you aren't homeless and want to go eat there for the cloud or whatever, you have to pay not only for your food but the food of the person behind you. And right. it's like inno- it's pretty pretty expensive. Yes. Um. So, do you want to go this weekend? Yeah. Should we go? I don't. My funds are okay. Yeah. I don't know if like I. I mean, how many people do you have to buy f- for? Also, can first we of just all, say this sounds like a home? place. For, that sounds like a horrible place for a first date. Okay, I mean. You you pay for you you pay for four people. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. What just happened here? That's like your date showing up with three of her friends, <laughs> <laughs> and you're not fucking any of them. So, <laughs> so. no, they're not even gonna remember you're there. Yeah, they're not even gonna. <laughs> now what you do is like, hey babe, wait you behind me. I'll go order, you know, for right. us, and then you go up to the front. It's like, hey, me and that lady over there are homeless. <laughs> right, right. I'm with it. this crazy homeless lady, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah. Because somebody's going to have to be homeless. Yeah, yeah. To offset this cost. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to have to be homeless. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> to break even. No. <laughs> <laughs> you see the two. That's, I, mean, I mean, grief, man. That's a lot. Yeah, that's you. I mean, that's four it, people. It's a flex. It's it's a real flex. You know? Okay. So, it's, it's you know, what do you, what do you, what do you, I mean, he's doing it in LA. He's doing yeah. it in New York. In New York, yep. And it's, it's been successful. Honestly, it's fucking dope. People want to support. It's very, very dope of a man. Yeah. Obviously. So, do you want to wait to get our tax refund next year and we can, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can yeah. go? Yeah. Oh, dude. I might make some money this year and get some back. I think we should go, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, I, I don't know if we could pull off homeless. That, the pro- where you messed up, what you shaved too early. <laughs> yeah. That's where you messed up. Yo, that's real. Yeah. If I shaved and just wore like a. By the way, Neil shaved and he, he looks like he lost ten pounds. Oh, it I blows know. me away. I it was weird to see my chin, again. Like I hadn't seen yeah. my chin in a year. But you look good, man. Ah. No, you look good, man. Uh, it's a, it's a, I, I like it, it like this. Feel right, really? Yeah, I like it like this. It's, it feels a little bit like a, yeah. like Joe Buttons. <laughs> I, I got a Joe, Joe Button trim. <laughs> I went to one of It'll those. Be bitter like, as hell. This whole <laughs> <podcast>. <laughs> yeah. not showing us the contract. 
<laughs> you be from bitter as hell. <laughs> Fuck LeBron James for not taking a vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> you be bitter as hell. The whole podcast. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, no dude. man. Just telling his co-host to shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 Firing his people. Just, no, it's man. Joe's turn. <laughs> no, man. No, you, you, you know, you look good. You look good. Oh, thanks, man. Please, you remind me of me when I first had my beard, man. Oh yeah, yeah. back in the day. Back in the back day. when we started this podcast, yeah. man. I mean, my beard was. My, and Neil told me my beard was bigger than his. It was at the time. See, my beard was like here, mm-hmm. you know. And then I, <laughs> I took it to the next level. I, somebody told me I, I had like a Drake cut. No, and that shit bothered me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Drake. Drake's a legend, but mm-hmm. he's hanging out with tween stars too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the beard. It's the beard thing, probably. Yeah. It's, it's oh, just yeah. the rich black beard. Well, thing. yeah, dude. And, and I miss I my, my girlfriend, Kiki. Always <laughs> 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 well, wondering out loud. Do you love me? Are you lying? <laughs> <laughs> Kiki. <laughs> No, if you were Kiki and you heard that, she'd be like, "Yeah, you annoying. <laughs> Stop whining." I said no. Because I never have any. <laughs> <laughs> no means no drink. <laughs> I don't care how many Grammys. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, his house looks like like Neverland Ranch 2.0. Oh. It's on. It's on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Since I mean, I didn't. I don't really. I don't really care. I don't really TV. watch. Yeah, I don't care. Really yeah. see. I don't know. It's about people, rich people, and having stuff. I really don't care. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just don't care what they have. Like I don't. It does nothing for me, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. but you know, you just see it. Yeah, see it to believe it. Yeah, but it, it's a it's a, it's a nice it's a nice thing. Yeah, yeah. So with with Jaden's truck, do you think Will goes from time to time? Like it feels like Will Smith is now like at a point where he's like trying to take some of Jaden's cool. Like you know what I mean? Like he's like clout chasing his own son. I think I think uh, I think Jaden has a picture of his dad in the truck and tells the employees not to let him. <laughs> like, <laughs> Do not serve. <laughs> he tells all the Mexicans before every shift. You see this man. No. Oh yes, Will Smith. Yeah. We love Will Smith. No. no. <laughs> Independence Day. <laughs> Independence Day. <laughs> Heech. Yeah. Heech. Yeah, love Heech. <laughs> we love Heech. <laughs> Heech is good, no? <laughs> Heech is good. He no good. <laughs> <laughs> he no good. <laughs> oh his my dad pulling up asking for free food. Oh my god! I came to America after watching Pursuit of Happiness. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my son here with me. <laughs> <laughs> we love it with Smith. <laughs> <laughs> we we <laughs> we leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Dude. I always like seeing him. I always like seeing super massive celebrities mm-hmm. when they go to like foreign countries, like yeah. really foreign countries. Oh yeah, because they the movies they get are so late, and so when they see them, <laughs> when they see them, they just <laughs> losing it over movies that were like, yeah, that sucked. <laughs> they're, like, they're just, they're just losing it they just man it's insane like it was um what was it like transformers <laughs> we love transformers <laughs> it's 2019 <laughs> transformers dude mumblebee <laughs> we love it <laughs> Shia LaBeouf <laughs> it's like it's insane man I mean yeah I remember I I was in India we saw King Kong that was a, that was pretty tight yeah yeah. And it, it was when it actually came out yeah. you know we gotta give it credit you know <laughs> Let's look at the movies out but yeah man that uh, that is something yeah do you wonder if, I wonder if like uh, Will is there and he's like uh, Jaden it's your dad, Will. That's pretty good. Jaden. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Jaden. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, you're going into DMX. <laughs> it started, off, started off so strong and then started going. <laughs> Jaden, what? <laughs> <laughs> Where my son at? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that guy's homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so we're we're gonna we're gonna go to this truck. I mean, this is another thing. We I have say to we do. gotta go, we man. Gotta go. I love you. Okay. Oh, now I was warning you. I saw look, some pictures. The portion sizes aren't too crazy. Man. We might have to eat something before we go there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Chow. <laughs> We're going to Fogo de Chow before. <laughs> I'm staying on green yeah. all night. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Fogo de Chao is like, what is killing America? It's just an insane idea gone horribly right. Fogo de Chao yeah. is a fucking slaughterhouse. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot, It's man. a lot. It's a You'd lot. You'd probably go bonkers at fogo to dude chow. i went once and i'm like i don't i don't need this really man. yeah you know it's insane too much meat huh too much meat. it is too much meat mm. i'm not that fogo. much of a carnivore yeah i actually like having my meat with vegetables and, mm. and stuff like you know wow. you can't do this at fogo to chow but i was thinking to go vegan for like two weeks <laughs> <laughs> two weeks two weeks that's crazy because i've been going vegan the past three days what Whoa. yeah you did look a little slim in your shirt there yeah I mean, it's just because I'm wearing white. Oh, but, <laughs> but uh, no, you should, bro. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I went three days and um, I'm gonna have a Popeye's chicken sandwich today. <laughs> hey, but, man. I mean, take it as you can. Yeah, I mean, when, when are you gonna start? I'll start again. I, I've been starting. When you, as when, of today, I got back yesterday. Starting today. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, I ate. I ate like an island. For sure. Uh, back, you know, fucking Reuben sandwiches the size of my fucking skull. <laughs> <laughs> you know, drinking and shit. So much Jeez. drinking, bro. Wow. Man, I just love to drink. And it's fun. Right. It, it is. I mean, but there's it, nothing else to do, it. is it? Yeah, isn't it? There's nothing else. You really got to like who you're around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better really like it. <laughs> man, know? I got to go back home in June, man. And I'm, I'm nervous, man, because all dietary is going out the window, man. Oh, dude. Yeah, dude, I got Haitian parents, man. They they ready to throw down. <laughs> wow. Fucking lobster. Curry yeah, dude, shit. I have I have restaurants I have to eat at. Like I'm obligated. Like I have restaurants I have to eat at. This is like I have to have. Oh this. yeah, it's just yeah. like a family friend. Yeah, like I have to like I have to make a guest appearance. Yeah, yeah, like I just Jonas, <laughs> put your shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> put your shirt back on. <laughs> Here's your wife beater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of you coming in here throwing wife beaters at the <laughs> chef. This is a Jamaican restaurant. Yeah, I'm tired of you. Yeah, man. It's, it's some restaurants I, because I just, I cannot, I can't, there are certain things I just cannot mm-hmm. get in LA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Such as good barbecue. Great, yeah. And good Caribbean food. I can't get it here. <sighs> Those are severely lacking in Los Angeles. If Santa's. someone could bring that. You know, I haven't found good barbecue yet. Like really, really good barbecue. You know there's a reason for that though, It's right? too dry here. No, there's a oh. reason for that. Oh. So apparently, this is how regulated the state of California is. They even monitor the grills, like how people can can use like so in Iowa, yeah. the restaurants out there, they set up a they could cook however, like let as much smoke out, stuff like uh, uh-huh. barbecue pits in LA can't do that at all. Oh. Wow. They actually have to use electric grills. Fire hazards? Fire hazards, also emissions, carbon emissions. Wow, it's huh. so regulated. Yeah, they were there were barbecue places <laughs> in LA complaining, like because you know they were like, "Hey, listen, we can't be as good as the other places." Wow, because it's, it's too regulated, right? And so, yeah, like they get fined and stuff if they use like charcoal, like you know, like really grill it wood, you know, not you know they have to ration it. It's very, it's very interesting stuff. I didn't wow. know. Yeah, this is LA guys, dude, and. The- you know the police are on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> They're at the stores every single day. They wake up every. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little smoky today. <laughs> so I mean, because what happened was I, I I told you I think we talked about this. I'm on a mission to find some really good barbecue in LA, and yeah. I I went to a few places. Yeah, and they all sucked. And I googled. I literally I legitimately right. googled why does barbecue suck in LA, <laughs> and. Uh, and uh, a whole thing came up, and it was a legitimate reason as to why. Wow, so even right. the owners, law. it's the law. Even the owners, they law. know it's the law to suck. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. we, we we can't we can't make this as good as Texas. Wow, wow. they know. Just take the L. Mm. You Love know. It. So Love I mean, it. this is this is literally this is the city of LA, guys. It, you come here so your dreams get crushed. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything you, have, you try to right. do. This horrible barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, yeah, but the cryo. Cryo scene, <laughs> cryo scene out here is good. Oh, very, yeah, very, yeah, well. Yeah. very, very, very well. Very, 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 very well. Yeah, yeah dude. An amazing well. amount of black-owned cryo. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you come to LA. For. 
right. And I will go and cheer you both on. Uh, <laughs> oh man! But um, yeah, man, that uh, that is that is good. We'll we'll try to find some barbecue, man. Yeah. You know, we'll keep everybody posted, and uh, we'll keep you guys posted on our vegan diets. No, I tried for both of us. I, I'm a, I'm gonna try too now. I'm gonna have I'm gonna set an intention. <laughs> I'm setting an intention to find us some good barbecue, man. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, everybody, for watching. <laughs> This has been another episode of Papaya Nine Not News. Please subscribe. Please comment. Please keep checking out our clips. House lights go love out. Love you guys. <laughs> um, Jonas, anything? No, no, man. Yeah, please. Uh, you know, please continue. Uh, comment all that stuff. Yeah, man. Appreciate the love. And uh, Alan. Whoop whoop. There we go. Peace. Papaya Nine Not News.